Hello guys, what's up? So, ang video na ito ay tungkol sa airplane announcements. Practice lang naman ito. So, if you have come across to this video, please subscribe to my channel and um, don't forget to click the notify bell button para ma-notify kayo. So, anyway, going back to uh, airplane announcements. Um, merong English at Tagalog version nito. And, galing ito sa flight attendant school na inatinan ko. Pero, you don't need to attend a flight attendant school because it's not a requirement when you apply for a flight attendant. <clears throat> um, usually kasi, yung education requirements sa airlines pag sinabing pwedeng high school grad sa sa airline na yun, ibig sabihin um, basta high school graduate ka po pwede. So, yung mga nagtatanong ng kung pwede ba ganitong strand or what, basta high school graduate pwede, okay? So, that would be in Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, and other Middle East international airlines sila ang tumatanggap ng high school graduates pero pagdating naman sa PAL or Philippine Airlines at PAL X or PAL Express as long as college graduate ka kahit anong kurso kahit fine arts nursing psychology uh, business management education Uh, IT, kung ano mang course na kunin nyo, okay lang. Basta college graduate ka. Yun ang uh, kaya sila humihingi ng photocopy of TOR pag mag apply ka. Pero, para sa mga uh, kaka-graduate pa lang, or wala pang TOR, pwede naman kahit to follow yun. Pero, ayun. So, optional lang talaga ang flight attendant school kung gusto nyong maranasan kung ano ba talaga yung ginagawa sa training ng cabin crew pero hindi talaga siya requirement so kahit mag um, kahit magpakita ka ng mga seminars na ano certificates or yung training certificates nyo or kahit anumang ano uh, certificates na ano ba yun uh, tawag dito parang cum laude or what hindi naman necessary so kahit hindi naman kinakailangan na tourism graduate ka as long as any course is acceptable sa any airline tapos yun, yung iba naman, kahit hindi ka pa tumutungtong ng college, basta college, ah, basta high school graduate ka, pwede. So, okay, going back sa airplane announcements, um, merong English at Tagalog version nito. Babasahin ko lang, practice lang to. So, uh, wag sana mag post ng any bad comments kasi babasahin ko lang naman to hindi naman talaga ito yung official na uh, nasa aeroplano na talaga para mag-announce so ang um, advice ko lang is huwag nyo masyadong bibilisan yung pagbabasa kasi usually kapag mabilis ka magbasa dun ka nagkakamali dun, dun ka magkakaroon ng error kasi minad, minadali mo so gawin nating sakto simulan na natin ok in 5 4 3 2 1 action <laughs> ladies and gentlemen my name is Joanna April together with Luz Steph and Vince Captain Johnny is in command, and assisting him is First Officer Alfonso. Our flight to Hong Kong will take about 1 hour and 30 minutes. 
Ayun. So, yun yung, ano, English version. Sa Tagalog version naman tayo. Mga binibini, ginang, at ginoo, ang lipad na ito ay pinangunahan ni Kapitan Johnny at unang opisyal Alfonso. Ito po ay si Joanna April, ang iyong cabin crew in charge. Tayo ay maglalakbay ng humigit kumulang isang oras at 30 minuto. Yun yung Tagalog version. So, take a deep breath. Uh, hindi naman kailangan tuloy-tuloy. Siyempre may pause ka. Like, one, one or two minutes. Ganun. So, after one minute, you can continue. In the meantime, please give your attention to the crew member, Luz and Steph, in front of you, who will now demonstrate the use of the safety equipment on this aircraft. So, pag alam mo nang ano, medyo mahaba na yung babasahin mo sa susunod na, uh, sa susunod mong babasahin, basta yun. <laughs> um... Kunwari, nauubo ka or what, try, try to, um, try to cough muna bago mo simulan. I mean, <coughs> yung ganun. Um, mag-excuse ka lang. Siguro pwede naman yun. So, you can continue now. First, fasten your seat belt like this and tighten it. To release it, lift this catch. Now the use of your life vest. Your life vest is under your seat. To use it, slip the life vest over your head and bring the waist strap around your waist. Connect the clip and tighten the strap by pulling it outwards. To inflate your life vest, pull the red tabs firmly downwards. To inflate it further, blow into one of these mouthpieces you should inflate your life vest only at the exit door. For attracting attention, you can now use the whistle and the light. Please note that the life vests are meant to use for use in an emergency. Removing the life vest in any other circumstances can jeopardize the safety of passengers and is a criminal offense. So, medyo mahaba ni yung, yung na basa mo try to uh, pause for one or two minutes tapos nun kung makati yung lalamunan mo cough a little kasi medyo mahaba na yung susunod mo babasahin practice lang naman to guys so ayun so yung next is in the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop from the compartment above. Pull the mask down sharply to activate the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Place the elastic strap over your head and tighten it by pulling the end of strap. Remain calm and breathe normally. Your oxygen supply is now regulated and it is normal that the oxygen bag may not fully inflate. If you are traveling with a child, attend to yourself first, then to the child. Pause. Please note that there are 6 or 8 emergency exits in this aircraft. These exits are two doors at the front and at the rear and one or two on each side of the overwing windows. During evacuation, do not carry your hand luggage with you. If smoke is present, keep your low and follow the floor lights to the nearest exit indicated by a light. Then, magpos ka ulit. <clears throat> the safety information card in the seat pocket contains additional information 
please read it carefully before takeoff. The use of portable electronic device is not allowed during takeoff and landing. Transmitting devices such as a personal handphones must be switched off and their use of their use is prohibited at all times on board the aircraft. It is an offense to smoke in the aircraft and smoking in the lavatory may set off the smoke alarm. Thank you for your attention. So guys, um, pag ano kasi, um, ganito, mas maganda kasi kung mag-practice ka na mag-practice um, paulit-ulit para it makes it perfect after many practices. Siyempre, sa umpisa, hindi mo may iwasan magkamali. Um, ganun talaga pag, ano, beginner. So, <clears throat> tagal ko na kasi hindi nakapagbasa ng ganito, kaya hindi ko na nagagawa yung kasing bilis ng ginagawa ko before, na nagagawa ko siyang basahin na mabilis na although may konting error, pero hindi naman may iwasan yun. So, ayun. Ito naman yung Tagalog version. Basahin ko na. Ipinakita po namin sa inyo ang wastong paggamit ng seatbelt, life vest, at oxygen mask. Ipinakikiusap po namin na iyong basahin ang safety information card na nasa bulsa na upuan ng inyong harapan at inyo pong pag-aralan mabuti. Ang mga labasan para sa mga sandaling kay na kailangan nito. Para sa inyong kapakanan, sundin po lamang ang mga patnubay ukol sa kaligtasan. Kung mayroon po kayong alin, pag-alinlangan, huwag po kayong mag-atubiling lumapit sa amin. Para po sa inyong kaalaman, ang paninigarilyo ay mahigpit na ipinagbabawal sa kabuuan ng ating paglalakbay maging sa loob ng palikuran. Salamat po. Medyo ang twister yung Tagalog version eh. So, ayun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, um, if you're always on Facebook, you can also join my group, which is called Future Filipino FA slash Cabin Cruise Philippines. Pati na rin yung page ko, please like and follow my page, Become a Flight Attendant Philippines. So, um, the reason why I created those group and pages kasi parang dun ko na lang ibinuhos yung um, inspiration ko at the same time dun ko rin binuhos yung um, knowledge ko when it comes to applying in different airlines here in the Philippines. So, parang ano, uh, kasi nga, it's been 10 years that I've been applying. Um, wala talaga. Parang hindi ako sinuswerte sa sa, ano, dream job na ito dahil nga yung mga requirements ng uh, cabin crew medyo mataas talaga yung standard lalo na sa physical um, screening, medyo mahigpit talaga. So, pag hin, ano, depende talaga sa recruiter kung magugustuhan ka. So, wala talaga sa, ano, yung parang wal, wala talaga sa education or wala talaga sa, ano, ang tinitignan kasi nila is yung personality mo, yung um, body language mo, tsaka confidence mo. Lahat yung tinitignan eh. Pati yung the way you communicate. Kailangan talaga yung parang makuha mo na agad yung attention ng uh, interviewer. Yun lang naman talaga yung kinakailangan sa lahat eh. Pero, depende talaga kung magugustuhan. Kasi marami din mga magaganda, matatangkad, uh, perfect na nila tignan. Pero, uh, hindi, hindi rin nakukuha lahat. Tsaka, sa dami ng mga nag apply like hundreds, mabot na rin ng 1,000 plus, 
pero only less than 30, less than 20, even less than 10 lang yung mga nakakapasa. So, maraming nakaka-experience ng rejection dito sa cabin crew. Kaya, um, ganun talaga. So, mahirap man tanggapin, pero ako, tinanggap ko na na baka para hindi sa akin. Kaya, gumawa ako ng Facebook group na ina-update ko na lang yung mga aspirants na katulad ko para malaman nila kung ano ba talaga yung latest um, yung qualifications, requirements kasi umiiba yearly eh. So, yung mga nababasa nyo on online na hindi naman gaano updated um, huwag kayong masyado mag-rely sa mga ganong sources dahil lang may naka-article siya. Pero, titignan nyo rin kasi yung date kung updated ba. Baka kasi yung post na yun, it was posted like 2016 or ano, 2012 pa. So, um, yung latest update ngayon is no discrimination na pagdating sa age, pagdating sa status, pwede na yung mga married applicants, pwede na yung may anak, pwede na yung above 30 years old. So, pwede na rin sa, ano, sa mga transgender, pwede na rin yung, ano pa ba, may mga nakapasa sa Cebu Pacific na transgender. So, ang daming no discrimination ngayon. Yun nga lang, depende talaga sa recruiter kung makakapasa ka. So, ayun. Hopefully, sana marami kayo natutunan in this video. So, um, once again, this is Joanna and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and kung meron pa kayong any questions na like, kailan uli magkakaroon ng hiring kasi naka-quarantine tayo. Um, sa ngayon, tapusin nyo muna yung lockdown kasi halos lahat ng mga kumpanya sarado. Ayun, um, antayin nyo na lang talaga matapos yung lockdown dahil wala pa talagang hiring sa ngayon. So, thank you. God bless.